Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. I got a whole load of crazy owl beasts chasing me here. There is a hare over there. Although I've already got a level... Uh, blue... Well, he's, he's only a level 1. Oh no, he's level 11. Wow! Uh, yeah, I remember now. I'm, uh, um, I'm, I'm not a paladin. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Right, instantly heals. I need to do that one. Let's, let's just remember, I've been playing a paladin non-stop for a few weeks now, and I've completely forgotten how to play this one here. Uh, Roger, you need men's pet like that. I'm not playing a paladin. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot about that. Right, I've already got a hair, so I don't need to worry about that one. Um, <laughs> I, could have, I could have gotten into a spot of bother there, couldn't I? You, you've got to be careful with these things. You do have to be careful. Right, I don't want to follow that road. I want to go over here. I want to follow this next road. That's the one that we want to head down. Now, there is, hopefully, I can go and find this missing thing. It's that one that I'm after, and he's telling me to go along this road. Uh... There is a road that goes there. Skulk Rock. So I've I found Skulk Rock in there. Jade Oozling. I've already got a blue quality level 25 Jade Oozling. I think Sen sent me that one. So Skulk Rock, we've uncovered that one. So we're going to head on over this way. We're going to just stay along this road here. And that should take us close enough to there. And then we can just like segue off into the, into the water there, I think. There. Actually, there's a road that will take us. So we'll follow the road. Let's just follow the yellow brick road all the way around. Agglewaffa. Right in here. And that's uncovered that bit. I got a vile branch. For a minute there. I was a bit concerned. I thought that might have been a hoardie, but that's not a hoardie at all. So let's take you down. No, I don't want to be going to get you. I want to send my pets in to get him. I don't want me going in to get them. I got a, a, I'm a hunter now. I'm no longer a paladin, but that is most definitely what we want to get up over there. So I want to just quickly get across the water over here and scramble up there. And there it is, homing robot. You appear to have uncovered the wreckage of a robotic chicken. The voice from in the egg cackles life again. Yes, excellent work. This is indeed my homing robot, though my senses indicate that it needs to jump start before it can fly back to Booty Bay for repairs. Go ahead and replace the, and place the beacon inside the rover. The beacon will take care of the rest. Booty Bay? I thought, excuse me, I thought this was a gnome, not a, not a uh, goblin. You place the egg distress... You, you, you place... No. Uh, you place the egg, the distress beacon, inside the chicken homing robot. Right. Hums and whirs are heard from inside the robot as it struggles to stand up. After the robot comes to life, Oglethorpe's voice is heard once more, but from now inside the robot. It is Oglethorpe. That's got to be a um, no name, surely. Ooks09HL is working at last, but it needs major repairs. It is much too heavy for you to carry it, but I think I have an idea. Are you up for watching over it some more? Do I have any choice? The gnomes, it is a gnome. The gnome's voice crackles once again from the robot. I need to move Ooks09HL to an open, safe place so it can begin a lengthy takeoff procedure. It has a built-in cloaking, but I need time on my end to make it operational again. Escort the robot from its current location to, let's say, some big rocks and obscure visibility. That should be a perfect place and long enough to get things online. Escort it safely and then come talk to me in Booty Bay. Oglethorpe Obnocticus out. <coughs> Emergency power activated, initializing ambulatory motor, Cluck. Yeah, well, Cluck you too. Um... There's a wolf up there. Right, homing chicken. Where where are we going? He's, he's, he's avoiding the wolf. At the moment. Where exactly are you planning to go? i got, I got to escort this thing to safety. That's all the way... Good gravy. That's all the way over there. That's miles away. Uh, could really 
do it. Right. I gotta take a... a Wait, robot! I really hate it when they do that. You've got an escort quest and then they don't allow time for you to actually escort because it's, like, run away from you. At least it didn't fail. We've still got it in sight. So we need to follow the homing robot or sort of stick around with it somewhere along the, uh, along, along the way. Nyseri here has earned the achievement Come Sail Away. What's that? Complete the introduction to Kul'Tiris. I've done that. Right, uh, Nyseri is level 112, a Worgen Druid. See, I'm wondering about doing a Druid. Druid or Shaman, I think, will be my next character after this one. I don't know yet. I'm really not sure. The game is, at the moment, quite built for doing alts, right? The, 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 you, you can level them fairly quickly. Even I can level them reasonably quickly. Um, let's go on up here. I, I want to type Gratz. It just, it just, it just seems like the right thing to do, doesn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. Oh. <laughs> uh, G and then, grats like that. There. So I, I congratulated everyone around me right here. There's no one to congratulate. If a tree falls in the woods and no one hears it, does it still make a sound? If you congratulate everybody in the woods and there's no one else around, are they still congratulated? That's the big. That's the big question, I suppose. Are they still congratulated or not? We've made it this far. Sensors detect spatial anomaly. Danger imminent. Right, well, we've got danger imminent right there. Let's get another danger imminent here and start sort of doing some AoE damage right there. Uh, then I'm going to go with that owl beast and I'm going to get my pets to attack that one. Just until, like, the pets are not being harmed anymore. Right. Flight systems online. Cluck. Engaging rockets for transport to Booty Bay. Bye, chicken. Ciao, darling. Return to Oglethorpe of Nocticus at Booty Bay. So in order to do that quest, i got to go all the way down here and speak to him down there. That's a long way to go. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that easily. We won't worry about it at the moment. So, I need to go and get Revan Tusks, and I need to kill Gandranda, and then we also need to go down to the beach and spend a bit of time on the seashore finding bottles of booze and things like that. So, we're going to head over this way first. I'm going to have that one active like that. I'm going to hope that these psychotic owl beasts will leave us alone just long enough for us to, like, slip past. There's more wolves over here. There are loads of mangy silver manes here everywhere. Uh, Gandranda is over here. There's a wild hammer warrior. More Revan Tusks. Revan Tusks there. Right, so it's Revan Tusks that I need to kill, and who are you? Revan Tusk Hexer. You're just a uh, Revan Tusk. You're not anything particularly special. You're just a regular Revan Tusk, by the look of it. Yes, you are. Right. That was easy enough. But now i got to find this dude sitting on his throne. There is a Hexer. Ah, there's a rat over there. That's one that we still need to level up. That's what we were trying to get before, wasn't it? And i got another... There's two rats in here. We will see if we can get one of these rats down. I do want to change my pets around. So let's do that. Uh, I've got loot over there. Let me go first, though, to collections here. And we'll swap them round. Because if I'm picking up a rat from here, he's going to be low level. It's going to be altogether different getting him than it is getting one of the bigger... There's another hexer right there. Fine. Take that one down. And... I need a target. That was quick. Right. And there is Gandranda. Let's take him down as well. And then we can get our pets going to work. And we can do that. And I can also have Bestial Wrath engaged like that. Because that makes him do a whole load of extra damage, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we've, we've knocked him down in no time at all. Okay, we made short work of that dude. I got everything I wanted here. And now what I want to do is I want to stand over here a little bit. I, I want to get some of these. Come here. Ah, uh, quit. 
Right, that rat there is absolutely no good to us at all. What about you over this side? No upgrades available. You can quit the battle as well. So we had that beautiful bog lord dude, but we haven't got any more. So that rat there is gone. That rat there is gone. And I'm not going to worry about other rats for a second. I'm going to go back out this way and I'm going to take down some more of these Revan Tusk Hexers like this. There's five of those. There is a silver mane. And I've got a few stalkers on the outside edge of our range right here. We'll go and get them in a minute. That's you out of the way. And a little bit of skinning as well. There, we got a bit of medium leather from that one. If we want to level up our leather working, though, we're going to have to sort of come back and spend a whole load of time killing lower level characters, I think, because as soon as we go to Northrend, that's Northrend leather working. Um, and that's altogether different. So that's kind of, that's another thing that we're going to, like, need to come back to. And in order to be able to continue with our epic quest, we're still, we're going to need to take a load of them down. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ignore this lot here for a minute, and I'm going to go over to that road and get down to the coast so that we can do those two there. And you've got to go, you've got to go over to the road to be able to get down to that coast, if I remember correctly. I have done the hinterlands before. As I'm up here and we need leather, let's take these dudes down, shall we? There. Take them out like this. Is that one. And you're down, and now I'd take you out like that, and Roger could do with a bit of mend pet going on. I can pick those two up, and that will allow me to do some skinning as well. So there, I'm on 270. That makes 271. Excellent. This is what we need. We need to keep going with this, and then you over that way as well. And do that. Get them both on. There we go. Take you out, and then I can go back to this one and just finish him off. Excellent. Tender wolf meat. I got a few tender wolf meats there. Right, there's another skinning. That's 272, 273. We got heavy leather. Nice. Now we're talking. I would like the more more things like heavy leather in that, the, the better. It's, it, it's a good thing. Right. I want to keep going up that way. I suppose really I could just take out the last four Revan tusks before you. I'm, I'm already part way now. I'm already part way through. Let's fight our way through the walls, and we'll go back and we'll get the last of the Revan Tusks afterwards. Uh, there's you. I know I'm going to have plenty of chance to get more silver. Well, I think I'm going to have chance to get more silver mains. Uh, there's a hare over there. I know I've already got the hare. I was hoping for, like, a secondary one that will come up that will give me a boost. Because we quite often get, though... Oh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. Forfeit. Yeah. I don't do anything there. Right. I'll leave the hair. That one that one can stay where he is. And take you out. Let's get mend pet going while I remember it. And then spam a couple of the viper shots. Is it viper? A cobra shot, sorry. I think it is viper. It's not. It's cobra. Cobra shot. 275. I need 25 more kills. Uh 25 more skinnings, rather. It might not necessarily be 25 kills. I'm not going to get all of them now. We're just kind of like hacking our way through a few of them. A couple of them. And uh, skin that one. Right. Oh, we got Revan Tusk Village down there as well. But I think that is a horde. I, I'm pretty sure that's a horde one down there. I, I didn't want to do it. I want to do this. Right. On we go. Let's, let's try to ignore the walls now. Let's see if we can do this without being distracted. The Overlook Cliffs. This is where we're headed. We want to be heading on down here. So Revan Tusk Village, I'm absolutely certain that that is a small um, horde outpost down there. And it does look like it, like all of the horde stuff, it looks like uh, a more um, tribal nomadic type approach to it. Yeah, that's definitely horde. Um, I've never really liked the horde stuff. I've, I've never really liked it at all. And that's why I've always gone with Alliance, because Alliance seems more like the traditional fantasy type stuff that I've always enjoyed myself. Um, so we're going to ignore that lot, and we're going to come on around this way. 
I am going to skin these at that uh, level insane Tauren is busy killing for us. Don't mind if I do. There's a free couple of leather working points for us to have right there. Now, I need to get bottles of booze and stuff here on the shore. And then there's a big dude over there. Who's that? Oh, uh, that's Gamarita. That's, that's a quest. There is a rat there that I could Too go and attack. Away. I'm not going to. I'm just going to go with the saltwater snap jaws that that person leaves behind. Uh... Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's keep doing the skinning. I need to find all of these bottles of booze everywhere. I don't need to get Gamarita, do I? I need to get bottles of booze. I also need to get Snapjaw Gizzards. So, this person going and get these things. Yeah, it's great and all. But I also need to get these things as well. I'm not going to go after the skinning all the way down there. Um, we're going to have to try and get a few of these kills before the Hordy does. So it would appear that maybe they're on the same... I, well, I can't imagine they're on the same quest as us. Seems unlikely that they're on the same quest as us, but you never know. You never know. So we will gather these. I don't know what the drop rate is going to be. Sometimes drop rates are fantastic. Sometimes they're absolutely appalling. And when you've got something like eight, nine different things that you've got to get, that can get frustrating. Uh, might be all right. Right, there is one snap water. There is another snap water over there. I will get my pets to go after it, and then I will do that. Right there we go. I don't have a time. Get him taken down, and him taken down nice and quick as well. We got one gizzard so far, but I am going to be able to do some skinning now. We get turtle scales as well, and um. This is something you get a lot less of these days with the newer expansions, is specialist things like scales and um, the hides and skins. Really rare drops from skinning and then needing to use those really rare drops in order to make up quite a lot of different items. Right. There is some skinning I can do down there. Depends how enthusiastically I want to go for that. I, I do want to do the leather working. Like, I actually want to... I am quite keen to get as much of the leather working going as possible. So I am actually okay with running around and skinning anything that that horde leaves but hordy character leaves behind. I need a target. I need a target. Right. You come over here. I could go over and there's another snap water over there. Let's go and get it. Why not? Uh, come over this way. The problem with like in the water with a hunter is your pets they go after them and then you've got to go a long distance to be able to reach them to skin the targets so i don't want to spend too much time in the water because it takes ages to get anywhere and i don't really like that there's a bit more medium leather we're on 287 we're getting there we're getting there we're not going to get our leather working up that's definitely not going to happen but we're getting there with all the rest of it salt water snap jaw right here I'm assuming that that Gamarita over there is nothing for us. I'm assuming that that one is just a quest for the Hordies who come down over this way. I need five more bottles of Pupelli Verbos... Uh, Pupelli Verbos Port is what that one is. I need five more bottles of that. Don't I? No, I've got five bottles. I need seven more bottles of that. And I need several more gizzards. I need five more gizzards as well. All right, I'm going to run down this end before I come back up. Because uh, I reckon I'm going to end up needing to kill a lot of these things. Uh, there's one over there, and I did just run past one. If I gather up this booze first, there like that. And then I'll go and get that bit of booze. And then we will stay on land... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that one, and then I'm going to go straight down to that one down there. Like that, and then I'm going to go to that one over there. And this is the one I'm going to send my pets to go after, and then spin round. And now we can start, like, using the AoE and things like that. Go on. Crushing bite on there, and then get him. See, I can kind of tank. 
I just gotta make sure I'm using my pet to help out. I got one gizzard out of those three. One single solitary gizzard out of three kills. That's terrible. That is a very poor drop rate. But at least I got some more booze. There's one there. There's no one further up. The turtles go a long way along the along the coast here. And, and there is actually there's loads of them here. There is absolutely loads of them. Right, I got you over there. There's one all the way down there. Need to get a bit closer. There's one out that way. I'll bring you in as well. And then I'm going to go for that one. And I'm going to have my pets go for him. And then we're going to do it like this. So I'm going to mend pet. I'm going to make sure that he is still mending. And I've got two of them going after my pet. So I kind of need to now focus on bringing those down. Ooh, I just leveled up. Unfortunately, Roger didn't heal. Like, when you heal, you heal up instantly. But Roger didn't heal up instantly when I did that. I don't know why. That feels wrong. Roger should have healed up instantly when that happened. A medium hide right there. See, there's another um, rare item. we got... And then there's another turtle scale there. I've got a couple of those now. Uh, I am... Uh, see... These rare items that we get, I'm going to need to get several of those. That's another thing that i got to make sure I find plenty of. Because I've got to complete my epic quest, which is one of everything that exists in the game. So, yeah, no no mean feat that is going to be. And I'm going to have to go and make a load of extra alts at some point soon. That's another thing on my to-do list, is making loads of extra alts in order to start accommodating some of the extra items that we've now got. Uh, I'm just trying to think which alts I sh you know, what, what I should make alts for. I mean, I'm going to need like fish and cooked fish and um, there's, there's loads. Let's not worry about it too much for a minute. Right. I need two more gizzards. That's the next thing we want to go. And I'm also 296 on skinning, so I'd actually quite like to just finish the skinning bit. I still need two more gizzards, so I don't think there's much chance of me not getting my skinning to level 300. There is two bottles of booze, I can see. So we'll go for this bottle right... Uh, well, I'll go for this character. i got a bottle over there. There's a gizzard. Skin. Uh, salt water snap jaw over that side. I'm going to get that one because he's right next to a bottle of booze. Keep that handy for us. So we'll take him down like that. And I've got the right order for using my abilities in now as well. We use this one first, the barbed shot, because that does damage over time. You want to get that one engaged first before you engage anything else. We're on 299 right now. There's the last bottle of port that I needed. And now this is the last salt water snap jaw. And my mistake that I made was I should have killed the Revan claw things up the top to start with. Because then I could have hearthed from here. And that was the last one of those as well. And here we go. Nice. Professional classic master obtained 300 points. We have now got it. So there's our skinning done. Leather working not so much. Skinning was easy. Our leather working skill at the moment is 126. We could do it a bit on that. I've got chain braces. I can make a few of those. We'll deal with that. We'll take a trip to Iron Forge after. We will get all of the skinning that we can do. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna get one more just for the sake of it. Um we will go to Iron Forge once we complete everything in here, and then we will use that to um that we can make up all of the rest of the things. Um, that we want to do in here. Gamma Rita right there. I'm pretty sure that you can go and take a photo of Gamma Rita as part of an achievement somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to half back up to the top and then I'm going to not turn in any quests there. I'm going to go and get the other Revan Tusk things and then I will go back to the fortress. So I've got three quests that I can turn in, but I'm going to ignore those. I'm going to go straight over this way to the Revan Tusk place, which is only just up the road here. And I go with the silver mane. If, if we do find these animals along the way, it's not going to be a bad thing. We can take them out like that. And 
Uh, just an extra bit of skinning because any extra leather is going to be good. It's not going to be a problem us leveling up our... Uh, it's not that we need to let We don't need to level up anything. Um, it's not going to be a problem us getting a little bit extra leather because that's going to help us with leveling up our um, uh, leather working. And it's, when I say not a problem, I mean that we do actually have to do that. We're going to need lots of it. We're going to need loads and loads of leather. So we, we've got to do a bit of work to get in that. Let's get you going and get you going over here. It's gold thorn there. That sells quite a bit, that does. It's a shame that we don't have the necessary skills to go and get the stuff. Never mind. Right, get that one down as well. And men pet. Roger needs to be healed a bit. There, there's three of them. I got one more over here. So I do that one first. Then I set my animals on on the kill command if I'm not planning to go for another one. And then we use the Chimera shot because that does a lot of damage anyway. And job done. Don't need any more. This has been so long since I used his character. I've got rested XP all the way up through this level. Whatever this level is, um, however much XP that is going to be. I don't know if it'll be into the next level as well. But uh, turning in quests, you don't use up your rested XP. It's only for when you're killing creatures. And with this big bonus, though, I've noticed that we're using up our rested XP very quickly. So it is sort of eating through that rested XP bonus much faster. And that does make a difference. Anyway, Care Iron Sight. Hello. Hello. Ready for a tussle, lad? Not bad for a city dwelling dwarf. Good show, eh? City dweller? I hate the city. I'm a mountain dwarf. Kinda like you, except I live in the snow. It's harsh conditions. Here, you live in paradise. Anyway, we'll, we won't get into that. Now, that's what I like to hear. Good on ya. We can have a crossbow, which is not an upgrade from the item that we've got. Or we can have storm feathered treads, which is an upgrade. Alright, we'll take those. Thank you very much. Skulk Rock next. Years ago, there used to be a horde base deep within Skulk Rock. It's been abandoned since then, but it's still prime territory, worth taking for our allies. Problem is, it's full of dwarf eating slimes and oozes. Those things are slightly less disgusting than trolls, but they'll still give us a hassle. With our boys tied up fighting a Revan task, I need you to go to Skulk Rock and clear the place out for me. I had a cousin in the Second War. He used to tell me all about when they led a raid on Skulk Rock. Swept in there and drove the trolls out like rats from a nest. They chased chased him right oh, chased him all the way right I chased right after him all the way to Ultrarak. Slimes moved in right quick after that, but there's still cratefuls of old horde goods sitting in there. I say we don't let the trolls get it back. Bring me a few crates from Skulk Rock to the northwest. See you soon. You got my attention. Got those gizzards. Ah, nice and fresh. I'll get these going while you fetch me some more goods then. And that gets us Nat Pagel's Extreme Angler FC 5000. The limited edition. It requires 100 fishing. Equip. The fishing skill increased by 10. We can sell for 2 gold 80. Right, well, we'll take that one. 99 bottles of booze on the beach. About 12 should do the trick, eh? That's the stuff. We wouldn't want any trolls or goblins getting pleasure out of these now, would we? Maybe I can work a bit of this into my next brew. Not many dwarfs know this, but to get a real kick out of my brew, I had a wee bit of the oozes around here. Aye, the giant ones. What, the giant? Well, unfortunately, folks, the bear is getting a wee bit tired. And, well, I suppose we could admit that we're getting a little bit tired as well. So we're going to have a little bit of rest and recuperation, enjoy some meat and mead. And while we do that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.